So here's some unseen footage from the previous video, Engine Teardown, part two. And if you happen to miss that, be sure to check it out. You can click or tap the link above. It actually bookmarks it for later. And then also I have a replay here of splitting the case with this plate, which is a big deal or the previous video as well. And here's just a quick look before I fully separated everything. Again, uh, just a real quick look of some of the internals and what they look like after just sitting basically for seven years. You'll see some surface rust there. Uh, it's not really that good looking. I'm completely aware of that, but uh, this is the way I found it and thought I'd share it with you. This is a place, it's a place of hunger It is a place full of grace and wonder This is a place where the choice is always before you This is a maze, it's a maze to soar through But what you choose is the choice that makes you For every day is the sum of your life And it's yours now here today and gone tomorrow It's what we got, don't let it slip away This is the time, it's the moment you can be So I found a few other surprises here and I'm not quite sure this crank is going to be a good core so I guess we'll find out here in the near future. I'll get it to the shop and um, I'll probably take it out personally, deliver it, and even check out the shop as well. But um, if you're interested in that, be sure to keep an eye out for future uploads and let me know what you think because some of these things, including like these tabbits, just don't look that great. Obviously those are not gonna be reused, but um, if you see anything else, let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions, concerns, I'd be glad to hear those as well. It's a place of hunger It is a place full of grace and wonder For every day is the sum of your life And it's yours now It's here today and gone tomorrow It's what we got, don't let So after this rod bearing, coming up next is something quite interesting. Perhaps it's not a new one for you, but it's definitely worth sticking around for. So coming up here shortly, in just a few seconds. So this was definitely quite the surprise to pull this off here and see that the inside, basically the plating had come completely off in a big chunk there. And the crank itself did not look too bad. I was quite surprised when I looked at that. I thought it was going to be complete trash and there was no way of even turning it down and saving the crank at this point. So I'm still moving along and I still am hopeful. but really need to take another good look and some measurements of the main bearing journal coming up here you'll see it
Be sure to drop any suggestions or questions you might have or even concerns I'd love to know. Until next time, be safe, be blessed, and I will see you in the next one. Later.